wizards, witches, and muggles, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're ready for snack time, cause I am. Today, we're unboxing not one, but two boxes full of delicious Japanese snacks, sweets, treats, and more. That's right, it is Battle of the Snack Boxes. So let's take a look at both of the boxes that we'll be diving into today, which by the way, are both Sakura themed and contain many Sakura flavored snacks. Let's start with the box that we've not opened on this channel before. <gasps> Tokyo Treat. Tokyo Treat delivers 20 of the latest, most exclusive, limited edition and seasonal flavoured Japanese snacks that are only available in Japan for a limited time. For example, things like Sakura Pepsi, Japanese Sake Kit Kats and more. And the other box is one that you've already seen on my channel, Sakurako. Sakurako is a monthly Japanese snack subscription box full of 19 traditional, authentic artisan snacks and the bit that I'm always most excited about, one kitchenware item. Now, they're all curated to provide authentic Japanese sweet snacks, tea and more from local makers in Japan every month straight to your door. So, if you like the sound of Tokyo Treat or Sakurako and like what you see in today's video, as per usual, I've got your bag. I got you covered with a discount. So if you use the code CHERRY, this will get you $5 off your first order. So check out the links in the description down below. Oh, and be sure to order by March 31st to receive this month's boxes. Snack time, snack time, snack time, yeah! You can't cut that masterpiece out. If you want to snack along with me and see what is in these delicious snack boxes, then keep on watching. And if you're brand new to this channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget you can click the subscribe button if you like to come part of our weird, magical, snacky family. Let's snack. I'm ready. Let the snacking begin. Okay, so we've got here a Tokyo treat box. Let's take a little look at the box. So it's a nice orange box. We are very color coordinated today. It wasn't planned. Uh, this is the box. We've got some nice artwork on there. I think let's get straight into the opening of it. Okay, I'm ready to reveal. Oh. What snacks that we have inside bite into Japan. Oh yeah. So on top we have got our Tokyo Treat snack guide, our little snack cheat sheet, snack booklet, whatever you'd like to call it. Now this theme is supremely sakura. I'm very excited. It's spring. This box looks full. Oh my god. <laughs> There's a big Kit Kat bag. Oh. <laughs> Okay, as per usual with my snacky snack videos, I will have a snack and then we will go through the guide to find it and talk a little bit about what each thing is. So I'm just going to take the guide and put that to one side so it's easily accessible and the first thing that we're going to look at, it's got to be that Kit Kat thing. This is that already made my day, I'm just saying, because these are peach Kit Kats! Peach Kit Kats! I <laughs> love peach. How big is this? Wait, there's 11 in here? Firstly, how cute is the packaging? It's so cute. Woo! Let's have a look at the back. Oh, you can save your packet and make origami on the back. That is adorable. Obviously, I don't read or speak Japanese, so I can't read any of it, but let's get in there. Okay, camera man Chris, there's your peach Kit Kat snack. So here's the packet, super cute. Let's get in there. Oh, they're pink. I've got high hopes for this, guys. I've got really high hopes. Oh my God. I can't believe we've got such a big packet. Oh, I do give that one out of 10. I give this. Now I don't like to give 10s, so I'm gonna give that a nine. Put it, or do I give it a 10? No, I give that a 10 out of 10. It's getting a 10 out of 10 for the peach Kit Kats. Oh my God, I want to eat them all. So let's see what the guide has to say about our peachy Kit Kat. So here we have it, Kit Kat Peach. A peachy Japan exclusive Kit Kat perfect for spring. I've got to say it's perfect for spring and I'm really sad that it's exclusive for Japan because I love peach and I need more peach in my life. So this says it's crispy peach cream filled wafers and wrapped in peach flavored white chocolate. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, that gets a tick from me. Right, let's see what snack that we've got next. I'm gonna flip my lid. You won't believe what I've just seen in the box. I'm gonna, oh my God. <laughs> it's a peach Fanta. I love Fanta. 
Peach. And you guys know by now that I love peach. It's gonna be so amazing. Look at the peachy like Japanese label. They make everything so cute. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna have to like sub to this box. I think I've just traveled to a peachy dimension. That's so good. That's so good. Oh, this is gonna get high scores. Oh, it's gonna make me burp, but it tastes amazing. The taste. <laughs> Why do we not have good flavors like this in England? Japan gets all the good stuff. I'm very jealous. Um, this is gorgeous. If they sold these over here, it would be a drink that I go to get every time that I go to a store. Super nice. I'm gonna give that an eight out of 10, just because fizzy bubbles do bad things to me. Let's have a little read about our peach Fanta, which was exquisite. Oh my God, so it says, Fanta yogurt rush, white and yellow peach. Okay, so that, ma that maybe explains the color a little bit better. So 2021 saw the launch of the majorly popular Fanta yogurt rush, but 2022 is kicking it up a notch with a peachy twist. Okay, so it says the mild yogurt blends perfectly with the refreshingly sweet white and yellow peach flavor. I'm actually really sad at how good this is because we can't get it here unless you subscribe to things like Tokyo Tree. Like, I'm sold, not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm gonna do a lucky dip, see what we got. Okay, we got a packet. Here is the packet. <laughs> oh, this looks like it might be spicy. Are you spicy? Oh, corn. Okay, so it says on the back, it says Texas corn, which excites me because I love corn. Um, I don't know what these are, but I'm gonna try them and then we're gonna read about them. So let's. We're in, right. Oh, yes. <laughs> These smell kind of like Monster Munch, like the beefy ones. Right, are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, 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 these get a 10 out of 10. Try one of these, try one of these, they're so good. See, I do feed cameraman Chris when he's here. All of you guys are saying, no. You're not giving him any of the snacks. He gets the snacks. Mm, I don't know what the flavor is, except really good. <laughs> so here we have it, Texas corn. Ooh, how do I say that word? Okonomiyaki puffs. I think that's correct. And it says, have you ever heard of, I'm not gonna say it again. Um, <laughs> it's a tasty Japanese savory pancake. The maker is free to customize. Taste it yourself with these bite-sized puff snacks that taste just like sweet and savory okonomiyaki sauce. Divine, literally so divine. I could eat bags of that. Those would become my new favorite crisp if we had them over here. They're so delicious. This box is so good. Okay, next snack. Oh, we're pink. I think this might be um, sakura and maybe even um, some matcha. Um, I don't know what this is. Let's just dive straight on in. I'm gonna get my little handy scissors. <laughs> what are these? They're like in, it says foil on the side. Wow, 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 wow. This is like, okay, so I'm guessing it might be sakura in the middle and then maybe matcha on the outside. I think it's chocolate. It feels like chocolate. It kind of melts in your hand. Let's give it a taste test. I'll put it all in, what if I don't like it? Hang on. There's something squishy on the middle. It's good. That's the weirdest thing I've put in my mouth. Okay, so this says that it's a Tyrol Choco Sakura Matcha made with Kyoto's famous Uji Matcha. Sorry if I mispronounced it. And the elegant flavor of Sakura. These bite-sized chocolates have a tasty milk, cream, and marshmallow center. That was the gooey bit. Filled with plenty of Japanese spring chop. These are strange, but in a really good way. I love that they're individually wrapped. The presentation on them is lovely. I just think they're such a joy to open and see that kind of like really vibrant colors. And it's really strange to have chocolate with something that kind of springy in the middle. Oh, it's good. It is good. I'm ready for another snack. Oh, I think I grabbed a big snack. I do not know what these look like. Um, they literally look like mini sausages. This is called Sakura Karintu. I think that's how it's pronounced, but hey, be sure to let me know down below if you know how to pronounce it better than me. Probably do. So yeah, they look like teeny tiny little sausages. Let's see what they look like. Unsurprisingly. 
Ooh. Firstly, 10 out of 10 for crunch. It's got sweetness. It's got a flavour I don't know, but they're good. Let's have a quick read whilst we have a little crunch. Crispy, crunchy and full of sakura goodness. These tasty Japanese crackers use cherry blossom petals to create a slightly sweet but super addictive sakura flavour. These are so Moorish, hence why I've put way too many in my mouth for just one snack whilst filming. They're really good. 7 out of 10. I give that 7. Mm. The little snack hand's going. The little snack hand's going. Oh look, it's a little roll. It's a little strawberry roll. How cute. There's a little man chef on there with his little moustache and his little grey eyebrows that are like... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> this reminds me, just by looking at the packet and like the swirl, it reminds me of mini rolls that we have over here, Cadbury mini rolls. So let's open it and see what's inside. Oh cute, it's like a little squished mini roll. Oh, that smells so good. Oh my God. <sighs> that is insanely strawberry. This is the little roll in question. So it looks like it has a nice creamy filling on the inside. Let's just break a bit off. That's heaven, so soft. So this is the inside of the swirly cake. It's delicious. It's so good. It's so... That's how good it is. It's gone. This doesn't exist anymore. That gets like a 9 out of 10. That is so good. This is a very high rating for me. I'm fussy. I'm so fussy. Girls got high standards, not gonna lie, especially when it comes to food. So this is Uncle Pierre's strawberry roll cake. So I'm guessing that's him on the front. A roll cake with delicious strawberry cream sandwiched between softly baked cake dough. Perfect for the strawberry loving sweet tooth. That was exceptional. Too small if you ask me. It could do with being like this big and then cutting it in slices. Mm. Let's move on to another snack. Oh, a box. It doesn't look like a donut shape, but it says Sakura Donuts Bao Boo. Boo. Mm. So this is definitely going to be Sakura flavoured and it says three so I think there might be three in here. One, two, three. Okay so here are the donuts in question. So these are long donuts and they look like this. Um, firmer than I was expecting. It's nice. Five out of ten maybe but it is nice. So yes these are Sakura donut sticks. And it says, the delicious taste of sakura now in a donut. It is dipped in honey with plenty of cherry blossom syrup, creating a donut bar with a fresh spring flavour. They're really nice. I know I gave it a low score compared to other things. What did I give it? Five? But it's just because the other things were so good. Like, five still good in this video. We've still got plenty of snacks. Oh, cherry flavoured. It's like they know me. Now we do have Pocky here in England, but all of them are imported as far as I'm aware. And they're kind of like not too out there flavours. So this is apparently Pocky Heart, Heartful Cherry. I'm guessing cherry flavoured. Um, this is a lovely box. Like, that's so pretty. And you put messages on there. This is very nice. Okay, I'm going to open these because I am a Pocky fan. Oh, look, cute. So this is what the packets look like. You get two packets on the inside. These look really pink and almost a little bit pearlescent. Now, just to be completely honest with you guys, I don't really like cherry flavored things. When growing up, people would always give me cherry sweets, cherry liqueurs. I like the fruit. I don't really like fake cherry flavor, but I'm willing to give this a go. Those are quite exceptional for a pocky. Yeah, it doesn't taste like fake cherry. It's like fruit, the real fruit in a stick. Yeah, they're good, guys. I'll give them a six. Let's have a little read about them. Pocky Heartful Cherry. We love spring almost as much as we love Pocky Heartful Cherry. The sweet and slightly sour cherry chocolate covers a pretzel base shaped like a heart. What? Oh my good, guys, look. <laughs> Look at those little tiny little hearts. I knew that they were a different shape, but I'm giving them an extra point for that. I'm going to give them a seven. I've got to say, guys, I'm a big fan of this box already. Might be my favourite Japanese box I've ever tried. Ah, little bunny. And this looks like some sort of cracker on the inside. 
Uh, I'm not sure what flavour it is. This is going to have a really high crunch factor. Are you ready for the crunch? Hmm, I'm not sure what flavour it's meant to be. So it says full moon pond cracker. Still a bit chilly for some stargazing. Let us bring the moon to you. So this is meant to look like a moon. I mean, it does. But, well, it did. <laughs> this cute and tasty Japanese senbai has a tasty sweet and spicy soy sauce flavour and a delicious crunchy texture. I'm not getting soy sauce. Bit bland. I would give that like three. Yeah, three out of ten. I've seen something with the word cheese on it. We've got this tiny little packet here. It is blue. It's got a little kitty cat on it. Look at that little kitty cat right there. So this says cheese Zach. Is he called Zach? He better be. Ooh. What? <laughs> what is that? It's like a very, it's like a what's it hollow brick. That is so cheesy. That's so cheesy. Uh, that gets a zero. Oh, no. And I like cheese. Let's read about it. So it says Cheezak cheese snack. It says, hey cheesy snack fans. I'm a, the thing is I am a cheesy snack fan. We've got a crunchy and cheesy treat just for you. This cheesy mini cracker is the perfect light and savory snack for cheese lovers. It's getting a zero out of 10 from me. Just need to cleanse my palate with some peachy yogurty Fanta. Okay, next snack. I'm gonna go with this little fella. <laughs> Let's just try it. The only risky thing is just trying it is what if it's spicy? I'm not good at spice. So this is what they look like inside. Little crunchy, I don't even know how to describe those. Let's pop one in. 11 out of 10 for crunch. The flavor is quite nice. Can't put my finger on what it is though. So it says new Moki Taro. April in Japan is all about new starts. And we hope new Moki Taro will be bringing you a whole new snacking experience. These salty and crunchy rice crackers are an addictive snack with major retro vibes. They are so crunchy. I can see why they're addictive to snack on. Considering I'm not the biggest savory fan, I'm gonna give that a seven out of 10. Enjoy those. Okay, we've still got one, two, three. We've got four snacks left of Tokyo treats. So, ooh, a cake. Okay, let's get this little cake out. Oh, look, isn't it sweet? Okay, so here is the cake in question. It's going in. New flavor alert. It's a Sakura mandolin cupcake. A fluffy Sakura cupcake is just what you need for spring. The elegant flavor of cherry blossoms are baked into the cake that is known for its sweet flavor and fluffy texture. So the elegant flavor of cherry blossom. Yeah, it's really nice. It's really good. I'm going to give that hmm, six or seven, six or seven, mm, six point five. Are we doing half points? Apparently we are. Okay. Oh, <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, I think this one might have not made it in transit. It's a little, is that a melon? Yeah, melon pandor, pandoro. So, oh God, they're really good with their kind of like biscuity fruit flavors. Let's open on up. Mm, yes, she's a little bit broken. Oh, it would have been absolutely adorable. And there's his little ear. <laughs> so yes, this is a panda, what looks to be a biscuit. We've got a kind of green tone, which I'm guessing is the melon flavoring. Let's eat this little panda face. That's so, I don't get why we don't have fruity biscuits in England. The flavors are amazing. I guess an eight out of 10 because fruity flavored biscuits that with nice crunch and their perfection flavors yeah they're really good <laughs> so this is the pandaro melon cookie japan's famous melon bread gets a cute makeover with this panda shaped cookie and i gotta say it was pretty cute keep the spring vibes going with this light and fruity taste of melon in a cookie that comes in a variety of cute expressions yes did enjoy that i liked the novelty of it thought it was very cute when i put him back together let's talk about the next one. Oh, i love this packet that's very cute looks like this is a chocolatey biscuit oh <gasps> Look at it. Look at it. Wow. Look, it's, is that a cauldron? Or I'm not sure what it's meant to be. Here is the coin, the chocolate biscuity coin. Um, so this says Aquarius on it. Um, there's a date on there as well and a biscuit on the other side. I'm just going to go in there. Oh. Eight out of ten. 
as a nice chocolate biscuit. This makes more sense. It's a constellation choco cookie. So it says balancing sweet and savory. Your constellation choco cookie is a crispy and crunchy treat that features a cute constellation motif to match its dreamy flavor. That's very cool. Enjoyed that. Now last but certainly not least. So the last item is a noodle slash ramen pot. Um, this is what it looks like. Unsure of the flavor. Let me just quickly have a look so that I can tell you because I'm going to go on a quick lunch break and we're going to fill this up and I'll let you know what it was like. So this is a shrimp tempura soba noodle. Lunch break, back in a minute with a rating. Okay, and just like that, we are back from lunch. So here is a picture of said noodles, which um, Cameron and Chris decided to have for lunch. I did try a little bit of the broth and I gotta say, I wasn't a fan. It was very, very strongly fishy. Just wasn't for me. I rate it a two out of 10. So it was shrimp tempura soba noodles. It says we're breaking up all the spring sweets with a taste of noodles with a majorly unique Japanese vibe and it says it's packed with a yummy shrimp flavor that contrasts the light yet super slurpable noodles. I personally wasn't a fan but I definitely do have a much sweeter tooth. So that is the end of the Tokyo treat box. Okay so let's talk scoring. Now I have scored every single item out of this box out of 10. There were 15 items and so we got about 95.5 out of 150 and if we were to make an average out of that it would have been 6.4 out of 10. Now I think that's pretty good. There were a lot of high scores in there but I guess there were quite a few, a couple of low ones that kind of made it average out. So I'm intrigued to see what that's going to be against the Sakurako box which we're going to be unboxing next. Now overall I personally loved the Tokyo treat box. It's definitely one that I would buy myself. I think it's really good. I do recommend it. It gave me a lot of joy seeing all these new flavours and from brands that we already know and love over here in England. But let's move on to Sakurako and look at something a little bit different. So here is the box. Um, I love the aesthetic of the Sakurako boxes. I think they're really pretty, especially with this kind of gold foiling. You guys know that I love a little bit of gold foiling. Yes, you do. So let's open this one up. Let's have a cheeky little sneak peek at what is inside. Whoa, there is a lot of pink sakura themed stuff in here. Okay, let's get going through the items. Now, just like Tokyo Treat, Sakura Co does also have this very nice culture guide which speaks through all of the snacks and guides us through everything that we're enjoying. So I'm gonna put that to one side and we will have a little cheeky sneak peek of that as we go. But first, let's get on with the first item. Oh my goodness. These are beautiful. So we've got ourselves two cookies here. The detail on these is ridiculous. Um, so we have a cherry blossom sakura tree there. Um, we've got the blossom flowers here in the shape of a heart. Let's just get trying. This looks like a cookie with cream in the middle with a little bit of filling. Oh, yep. So there you can see, oh, there we go. We can see what's in the middle. That's quite cool. Gonna give that a little crunch. The crunch is nice. It's a nice sweet flavour. They're very beautiful. I would probably give these a seven. They are very nice. So these were a Sakura wafer. A smooth cherry blossom flavoured cream is sandwiched by the Sakura themed crispy wafers. Not too sweet. These wafers perfectly suit a cup of tea. Oh my goodness, yes. These would be perfect with a cup of tea. Really liked those. Let's move on to the next product. Okay, next product is very pink, very Sakura themed. I do not know what this is. I think this might have got a wee bit broken in transit, but let's open it up. Okay, so I think this was meant to be a little, oh, it's meant to be a little boat. Very cute, shame it did break, but I'm not surprised it is a wafer, very fragile. So this looks like it is actually a prawn. Can you see like the prawn shell inside of there? So that's a real prawn. I have no idea what all these other things are. This is definitely a savory treat. That is just a crackery prawn. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try some of this one with sesame seeds in. Wow, it's very sesame. Try some of this orange one. Not sure what flavor that is. 
Not sure what flavour that is, it's nice. I'm really intrigued by this, I've never seen anything like it. So this is a Senbei boat. A beautifully presented and evoking the image of boats used in Jap Japanese festivals, this award-winning assortment of rice crackers comes in an edible tray. I mean, that's pretty cool. I've definitely destroyed it now and it did come a little bit broken, but for crackers, they're quite nice and they all taste different, which is cool. Very interesting for sure. I'm definitely more of a sweet tooth gal, so I'd probably give that maybe a four out of 10. I did like the kind of concept of it. Not my favorite. Let's move on to something sweeter. Oh, it's got an apple on it. It's got an apple on it. Very excited about this. Oh my God, it's so soft. It's so squishy. It's so squishy. It smells nice. It smells like a really fresh bun. Oh, it's like brioche. It's very brioche. It's so soft. Let's have a little look inside to see if there's, oh my goodness, there's the jam. There is the jam. Look at that roll. I'm gonna enjoy this. Okay. That's so good. That's so soft. Oh my God. 10 out of 10. That is, mmm, wow. Let's talk about the Nagano apple jam bun. It was such the best bun I've ever had. Using methods pioneered by Italian bakers, this bun combines soft and moist dough with the aroma of Nagano prefecture apple jam and OMG. I don't think anything's gonna top that really really good apple bun okay okay we have got something quite heavy in this packet right i think there might be multiples of them in here reveal wow let's give it a go not sure how i feel about this one i'm not sure if this is for me i think i'm gonna give that a three out of ten so this is sakura dai and then something i'm not sure i'm allowed to say on this channel <laughs> Dai, dai fu. I'm gonna say Dai Fuku because I don't want to pronounce it any other way. Kuma Moto base maker Kimura boasts over 60 years of experience in making treats that, and this incredibly smooth Dai Fuku is a testimony to that. Moist anko bean paste is wrapped in an amazingly soft sakura flavoured and coloured mochi. Mochi? Mochi. Mo... You know what I'm saying. I've got these because they look like they're orange or peach. Watch them not be, but the packets are giving me peachy orange vibes, to be fair. No, they're giving me spring onions. <laughs> 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 that is not what I manifested. I don't want a spring onion. Right, so there are two of these, and I think what's really cool about the Sakura Co box is that you get multiples of certain items, so you can share them with friends or family. And let's open this one up. So I'm gonna put one to one side and open this one. Can you see that little spring onion on the side? <laughs> oh, I was just hoping it would be orange. Wow. <clears throat> I don't like it. It's very oniony. Hence the spring onion. So this is chili. A rare, I think it might be pronounced arare, or you guys were telling me I pronounced it wrong last time we had some of this. Made with the perfect balance of hot chili oil from Okinawa and chopped spring onions, this spicy arare is perfect to balance out sweet desserts. It's spicy, I don't like spice, so I don't know. I give that I mean a one just for the crunch, I guess. So much fun trying all these things that I wouldn't necessarily try there. Oh, it's what is a bun. You guys know I like buns. Okay, so we have a little pink bun. Oh, look at that perfect little round bun. Look at the bubbly little round bun. It's so smooth. It's so soft. Oh, it smells very nice. Let's open it up. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, look at that beautiful pink center. How stunning is that? Let's have a little taste it. it smells nice. It just smells like a really fresh bun. The bun itself's nice. I think the bun is like divine. It's just a very pleasant, sweet bun if I'm being completely honest. I'm gonna give that a four out of 10. Nice, but nothing special. That was a Sakura Manju. Um, so it says the salt pickled cherry blossoms worked into its dough give this manju a mildly salty taste perfectly offsetting the sweet bean paste that it contains yeah it is nice i do like those kind of things but 
hey, we've tasted nicer things today, so I'm gonna be fair with my scoring. I take it back, I'll give it a five. What is this? Is this another cake? It's another bun. So this looks quite similar to the bun we've just had, but with a completely different filling. That one tastes much better in my opinion, so I'd probably go ahead and give that one a six. So overall, I did like this. I thought it was a much nicer and sweeter just more enjoyable taste than the previous one. But yeah, I'm always a big fan of these little cakey boys, little bunch. So this says that it's a milk manju. So it says perfectly balancing a soft and a milky dough and creamy filling. This manju features truly satisfying textures. They're not wrong about that. Do like the textures of it. Right, on to something that is exciting me. This looks like a jelly. Look at how beautiful this is presented. This is so pretty. There is even a cherry blossom flower in here. I believe in the last sa Sakura Co box we had a Sakura jelly. Their peach jelly was exquisite. So I'm intrigued to see what this one tastes like. So here is the jelly and as you can see it's suspended in there is a very beautiful cherry blossom flower. I do think that's pretty. Let's just take the lid off and try not to make a mess. Oh! <laughs> like trying to escape like stay in there jelly oh it looks so cute i've actually just gone to get a little plate so that we can attempt to turn our jelly over <laughs> look at how cute it is this tiny little jelly you can see the little flower on the side so this is a sakura flavored jelly by the looks of things we'll read about it in a second it's not a flavour I've experienced before, but I've got to say, it's quite pleasant and I'm a big, a big jelly fan. Probably give that a solid 7 out of 10. Do it, I do enjoy a jelly. So this was the Sakura jelly, beautifully wrapped. This jelly filled with Sakura petals is guaranteed to impress. It did. Even if you are far away from any cherry trees, this Gifu made treat is guaranteed to bring the feeling of Sakura season to you. And yeah, it was really nice. I do like a little jelly. I like that it's pink. I like that there was a cherry blossom flower inside. Very nice. I mean, whilst we're talking about jellies, let's talk about this. This looks bizarre. Again, I think there's another Sakura flower in here. This jelly is definitely a different colour. It's more like a milky consistency. I have no idea what the flavour is going to be, but let's open it on up and take a closer look. Ooh, can't smell anything yet. Wibble wobble jelly on a plate, wow. Look at that, I mean that's a piece of art if I ever did see one. But okay, I'm intrigued to know what flavour this is. It's, it's very beautiful, it is literally like a work of art. Is it gonna be like a different colour in the middle? Oh. No, so this is almost like clear. Ooh, okay. Can't really smell much, ooh. Subtle flavour, but not one that tickles my palate. I've got to give it a two, guys. It's beautiful, which is why it's getting those points. Not a fan of the flavour. So this says it's a Sakura Kuzumoki, Kuzumochi. Hmm. A whole pickled Sakura blossom is enclosed in this beautifully presented, refreshing Kuzumochi. Hmm. I think it's beautiful. Like, look how that is presented. It's absolutely stunning. Just wish the flavour was there for me. Didn't didn't like it, but that's fine. You can't like everything. So let's talk about the next product. I'm feeling something crunchy. I feel like these might be a little bit spicy. I can see little red flicks of like spice. Unless it's little, oh no, it could be like sakura pickled, like sakura plum stuff. I don't know. It's gonna have a crunch. Oh. That is a good crunch. It is the flavour that I was thinking. You know what's strange? It tastes like a flower. <laughs> it tastes what you'd imagine a nice spring flower to... You know like when you freshly cut flowers? Imagine that as a taste. Very unusual. Not in a bad way either. Let's have a little read. So these are another one of the Are or Are. Not sure how to pronounce, don't come for me. So it says the bold fragrance of Umi blossoms gives a hint of the strong sourness of its fruit. You can definitely taste that sourness. This crunchy arare or arare, 
has just the right amount of it to leave a lasting impression. This is a very interesting product and I gotta say the crunch is great, the flavour's unusual but it's quite nice. Probably gonna give it a seven because I love crunchy things and the flavour's unusual. It's not something that I've tasted that much in my life. Let's move on to some crackery biscuity. OMG, are these peachy? Are these gonna be peachy? Let's try it. It's either peach or an apple. Leave a comment. Is that peach or an apple? Mm, can't really tell. I'm going to go with peach because it's wishful thinking. Oh, it's going to be a fruity biscuit, isn't it? Oh, okay. Okay. This is what it looks like. Cute little biscuit. Let's give it a try. Oh, it might be apple. That's apple. I guess a nine out of ten, guys. A nine. They are so good. I'm just waiting for them to come out with an orange biscuit. Mmm. So this was an apple cookie. It says Nagano Prefecture is famous for growing irresistible apples. Mm -hmm. Crisp dough meets smooth apple pulp boiled in honey in this fragrant cookie. I could eat that cookie forever. So good, so good. Let's move on to something that looks a little bit more cherry and like sakura flavor. Maybe cherry. Let's see, ooh, what is this? It's like a cube. Like, it's like a Turkish delight. This is very bizarre. Okay, uh, let's gently open this. Oh, this is hard to open. This plastic's like disintegrating. This is quite hard to unwrap, I'm not gonna lie. The, pl the plastic's kind of just falling apart. Who else would really eat it? Wrapped in edible oblard. What? You can eat the plastic. It feels wrong. It's dissolving. That's strange. Okay, I'll take that back. It looks like packaging, but it's like you can eat it. So there's me with my plastic. Don't like it. I like the novelty of the stuff that's clearly not plastic being edible, which Karen and Chris read in the cheap booklet before I did. Um, so that's quite fun, I guess. Um, the flavour is very subtle. I think it's meant to be, again, another cherry blossom subtle flavour. Jelly, do quite like it. It's got the same consistency as some Turkish delights and that kind of thing. A very unusual product. Oh, what am I going to give it? What am I going to give it? We'll give it a three because it had a novelty value. Let's read about that because that's probably the most intriguing product so far. So this is called Sakura Kanten and it says this Kanten jelly has a mild cherry blossom fragrance and pairs perfectly with a cup of tea. It's very interesting, unlike anything I've had before. Not the biggest fan, but enjoyable to try it. Now each Sakura box we do get a tea pairing and in this one we got two because they always give one for you and a friend. So this is Sakura green tea. Now I am a big green tea fan. My favourite tea though is peppermint tea. Love these packets, think they're really cute and I will add them to my tea collection and enjoy them at a later date. Now I can't try these now but I am going to rate them because I have tried their teas before and they're usually quite nice. I'm going to give this a random fair scoring. I'm going to give it a six because I'm probably going to like it and I like the packaging and it's very on theme. So this is Sakura Green Tea and it says we worked with famous tea producer to bring you this Sakura Co exclusive Sakura Green Tea. Giving off a cherry blossom scent, this blend goes well with all kinds of sweets. It says to bring out the full flavour of the tea, brew it, blah, 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 blah. If you prefer a milder flavour, Try enjoying it with water heated to 70 to 80. So that's interesting, depending on how hot you get the water, the different flavours and that kind of thing. So, last edible product. That doesn't mean it's the last product though, because you guys know that we get a kitchenware product in this box. So these look like the cookies we had in the beginning. Oh, there's loads of them. Look at them all. Oh, wow. Look at how beautiful those are. So these just look like really gorgeous wafers. So here we have it, a little wafer. And the artwork on there is just stunning. It's just wafer, but it's nice wafer. Dare I say, I'm gonna give those a seven. Mm. So this is Sakura Senbei, and it says showcasing both the art of Japanese packaging and the beauty of cherry blossom season, this light and crispy Senbei is a perfect spring snack. They're really nice, like really nice. This brings us on to the kitchenware item. Now you guys know I get excited about kitchenware, so 
Let's have a little browse. Comes in this nice little brown box. Um, last time we got a little, I think it was a sake glass. It was really nice. It went straight into my kitchen cupboard. It's a little dish. Oh, it's a ceramic little, oh, it's adorable. This is a little dish that's got cherry blossom for sakura season. This is the underside. I mean, this is beautifully made. The artwork, the, like the paint, on it's really nice oh it's so sweet I really like that I'm gonna give that a 10 <laughs> I really like it I think that's so cute and I do love cherry blossom I think that's just so cute I'm not sure what I would use it for leave a comment down below of what you would use this cute little dish for but let's read about it because it might have its own purpose so this is a sakura side plate and it says this is perfectly sized to hold sweets this cherry blossom pattern plate is ideal to present and enjoy your sakura season treats alongside a cup of tea. That's so cute. Imagine if you had friends around for a cup of tea and you like get your little sweets and you're like, would you like one? Oh, yes, I do like that. I just think it's so nice to have a physical kitchenware product in these boxes. It's definitely a plus for me when it comes to the Sakura Co box. So we had the same amount of items in this box and we all rated them out of 10. So out of 150, we got 87. So it's a little bit lower than the Tokyo Treat box. But overall, that gave us an average of 5.8 per item, which means we've got a winner. Tokyo Treat has won this battle of the Japanese snack boxes. I gotta say, I really enjoyed this box. Now, this isn't to say that I don't enjoy the Sakura Ko box. I really do enjoy both, but this one definitely hit more of a, a sweet spot for me. And I also liked that there were brands that we could recognize in there. And this is something that I would subscribe to myself. To be fair, I would probably subscribe to both of them. I do enjoy both of them. I think with the Sakura Ko one, as I mentioned, love that there's a kitchen wear item so I guess it's down to personal preference and I guess this brings me on to my question which is which box would you get if you had to order one would it be Tokyo Treat or would it be the Sakura Ko the choice is yours and don't forget if you want to check out both of these boxes and maybe treat yourself to a little Japanese snacking then check the link in the description down below and hey don't forget that cheeky little discount code I've got for you because it gets you five dollars off either of these boxes if you are rating these products now I know you can't taste test through the screen all the more reason to order your own tokyo treat or sakura co box or hey if you're feeling really fancy you could try both <laughs> they're definitely different experiences and i do recommend giving them both a try to see which one your favorite would be but from this video leave your thoughts down below what items wowed you the most which ones would you be most excited to try from either box let's have a conversation down below and i guess i will see you next time and a big thank you and shout out to tokyo treat and sakura co for sponsoring Sponsoring this video. I will see you guys in a snacky video in the future and yeah I'm gonna go because I got so much food to put away now because I've only eaten like half the snacks. <sighs> My snacking cupboard's gonna be full. Ooh, oh, give me that peach fanta. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <sighs> that is some good fanta. I wish we did this over here. Makes me very sad.